Well, it's Tuesday the 22nd of March. Uh, I'm going over to Amiga Auctions in Warrington. They've got a Beetle Collection uh, auction today. And it's going to be rather special because it's topped by a disc that really is probably a prize item for any Beetle collector. Um, it's the actual Holy Grail find as it's been put in recent press because it's the disc that actually swayed George Martin to audition and subsequently sign the Beatles to EMI. Uh, it's a uh, 78 acetate. It features two tracks that were taken from a, an audio tape, which was the Decker Auditions. Brian Epstein decided to select Hello Little Girl Until There Was You and press them onto this demo disc that found its hands not only from through George Martin, but through to the current owner, which is Les Maguire of Jerry and the Pacemakers. He today is going to be at the sale, so I'm hoping to catch up with him and have a chat and see it right the way through and see what this might realise. I think it'll surprise a few people, so we'll carry on and let's see what happens throughout the day. So I'm speaking to uh, Les McGuire, a, a, a keyboard player from Jerry and the Pacemakers, who uh, has found this rare, rare dip Beetle disc. I'm just wondering if I can ask you, Les, what's, uh, what's the story behind it? Well, originally in 60, I think it was 63 we got it. It was given to us by Brian Epstein, and he asked us, would we record it? Uh, we did record it, but we never released it, or originally we didn't release it. And it was passed eventually to the foremost. We did release it. It was uh, the top ten years. So the, the disc itself, it was given to you. Uh, did you know demo. its history when you found it? Not really, no. 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 It was just another demo that was in my loft. <laughs> <laughs> so there's more hidden treasure up there, you think? Uh, I don't think so. I wasn't a big fan of memorabilia. So. As, as years have gone on and you've been part of the Mersey Beat scene, have you, uh, have you kind of been observing from afar the, the reaction to the Beatles? Yeah, well, obviously we were all we toured together and it all happened in the 60s. Later, after 67, I got out of music altogether and eventually ended up in the Royal Navy for 22 years. So I kind of lost touch with, with the business and it's been like that ever since. Really. I believe since the disc was found there's been interest and it's been on view at the Beatles story recently. You've been down there? Yes, we had a, a day down there. It was really, really good. It, I've never been in the big story, or I haven't been in for about 20 years. It was really, really good. Yeah, super place. So I think today it's uh, it's hotting up. It's early at the moment, but later on we'll uh, we'll get a recording. I think of uh, your reaction after the sale, the and bidding. let's hope it's yeah. uh, we'll we'll capture the bidding and let's see where it goes. I just wonder if you have any idea who might be interested in the disc at this I moment in time. No idea. No. At this stage, no. It's it significant. Could be anyone. I mean, it is very, very significant because it, it, history books will tell now that this is the demo disc that swayed George Martin to uh, audition and obviously sign up the Beatles. Yeah. So you've, you've really got something so special. So that's a rarity in itself. It is. It's an amazing artefact. Well, we'll catch up later if I may, Les. OK. OK, thanks okay. for that. Cheers. Lot 214. 214. I believe, Les, this is, uh, you, you've had this digitally recorded from, is that right? Did this go into the BBC or somewhere? Yes, I didn't do that. I think I'll meet me again. Now then, last lot. What we've all been waiting for, I think. Well, not that lot. <laughs> 214. Lot 214, it's the Beatles. Hello, little girl. Till there was you, acetate. Fantastic item, this one. Or Beatles, holy grail, really. Unique, 10 inch, 78 acetate record. <laughs> Beatles, hello, little girl, on one side, and Till there was you on the other. Of course, in the personal recording department of the HMV Record Store in Oxford Street, London. Right next time, had it cut. The <coughs> audition tapes. Gave it to, well, took it to the, to, to George Martin. Played it through, and not long after, George Martin signed the Beatles. So, a fantastic piece of history. It was later given to Les McGuire, Jerry and the Pacemakers, so that Jerry could, and the Pacemakers could record their version of Hello Little Girl. And that's where it's resided ever since. The past 50 years now, so it's a great piece. Epstein's handwriting's on the front, on both sides. Hello Little Girl, spelled H U W L O, Little Girl, with John Lennon and the Beatles on one side. And then, till now, was you. Paul McCartney and the Beatles on the other side. The 
great piece of history. A lot of interest in this one, as you would expect. Just can I just check? We've got all our telephones. One. Telephones. One. One. Two. Gillian. Just check. We've got all our telephones. Seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. So we've got all our seven telephone bids online now. <coughs> I've got commission bids as well. I've got three commission bids. I go straight in on this at £16,000. £16,000 is with me. 18, some late here in the room. I've got 20 here, 22. 20's with me, looking for 22 anywhere. 21's online, I've got 22. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. 30,000 30, me, 32,000. £30,000 with me looking for £32,000. £31,000 online, I've got £32,000. £33,000 online. £33,000 online, I've got £34,000 looking for £35,000. £36,000 I've got looking for £37,000. £38,000 I've got looking for £39,000. £40,000 with me. £41,000 online, £42,000 here looking for £43,000. £42,000 with me, I've got £43,000 now looking for £44,000. £43,000 is with me. Do we have £44,000? I've got 43,000 here looking for 44, 45, 26. 47 here, 48. 49 here, 50. 55 is with me, 60. 55,000 is with me looking for 60,000. 55,000 we have here looking for 60. I'll take 56 if it's there. He'll take 56,000, sir. <coughs> He'll take 56. He said 55. With me 55,000, we have 56. Yes. 56, I've got 57. We have 58. 58,000, I have 59. 58,000 with me, I'm looking for 59 now. 59, I've got 60 here, 62. I've got 65,000 here, we have 66. 66 is in the room, I think it's 67, my commission is out at 66. 66,000 I have, does anyone like to bid 67,000? 67,000 anywhere here, I've got 66 here, looking for 67,000. Anyone want to bid 67? If you're not bidding, can we move out of the way? Anyone, whoever's bidding, can we move to here please? We've got 66,000 in the room looking for 67. Is anyone bidding 67,000 on this? Anyone like to bid 67,000? 66,000 is in the room looking for 67. We've given 66. 66,000 it is then, it's in the room at 66,000. We all done, phones are all out. 66,000 is in the room. Any more bids? It's going to go once, it's going to go twice, it's at 66 in the room, we're all done. So, Congrats, Liz. Congratulations. We've got all that down here. Well, Les, just to sum up, I'm catching you here. I know it's probably you're in seventh heaven. I mean, it was, it was amazing. 67,000. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Well, it was quite a wait for the, the build up with 214 yeah. lots and I'm yeah. sure you know we were all kind of twitching because some of the lots were going for a lot of money. And especially the last one, yeah. the, the, the one before them. Oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah you'd think people had run out of money and there yeah. you go, they were all waiting for yours and as that's you could it, see... Yeah. Are all the telephone lines on. <laughs> well, that's seven or eight, but that's fantastic. Absolutely amazing. Well, it's great. So, I mean, as I say, I, I'm just over the moon for you, so uh, congratulations Les. Thank you very much. <laughs> So there you go, uh, an amazing day. It was great to be with Les uh, and uh, his daughter. Uh, looking at that, £67,000, uh, I d don't think any of us uh, thought that it was going to go up to that much. And it just shows what a historic record uh, uh, it is. Um, 
it was amazing as well just to think that out of all the bidders because the majority were on the phone the the two that were bidding the most seemed to be in the sales room and the one that did eventually win it they wanted to keep anonymous but they did say that they were buying it as an investment for the grandchildren which is a nice story in itself so i thought what what i would do is just round off by having a chat with uh, paul paul's the owner and the auctioneer of amiga auctions who are making uh, their own name for themselves really and competing against the likes of christie's and bonhams which is great to see so we'll just finish off now and uh, i hope you've enjoyed this film it's been an amazing day thanks okay paul so you were there holding everything together the auction yes. at the end so how do you think it went <laughs> Quite pleased with how it went to be honest. I think everything, all the higher end stuff went very well indeed. The autographs, the autographs we've got here, they were all selling very well. From 2000 up to 4000, 4500. The Russell Beetle autographs sold for 4000. The John Lennon photo, collection of photographs from How I Won the War. These were all sold with copyright, there's 200 images, some fantastic shots. They were the second to last shot and we estimated. Twenty to thirty thousand, he sold for forty-four thousand. So well. that was good. And then the finale was Beatles acetate to low as you, a low little girl, estimated ten to twenty. After the press that we had on it, we realised it was going to sell for more than ten to twenty, and it sold for sixty-six thousand on the day. So great result. Les McGuire and his family are chuffed a bit. Yes. And obviously his auctioneers to sell a record like this of such historical importance we're happy it sold at such a good price as well so all in all a good sale good, good sale. Very um, pleased. and would you say that for now amiga i mean you're really making your mark on the rock and roll auction uh, yeah, definitely and yeah. then, you know we sell whilst we sell the high-end items we sell across the board and you know we, we cover you know we have people that may only be able to spend a few hundred pounds with us but then we have the big spenders as well so it, you know people that have music memorabilia or records to sell they you know, they can bring here regardless of value and you know, we'll, we'll give them a hand and, and help them to do that so yeah that's one of our sort of ethos is you know we don't just we just don't want the elite we don't just want the you know we, we cover all bases so uh, you know it's working well and we're getting the excellent lots through um, which, and we're always getting the good prices worldwide as well so. and would you say that's the biggest item that has kind of gone through the door that's our biggest seller yeah we sold the the last well two years ago the Beatles auction we had George jacket went for 46,000, the Ringer jacket went for 52,000, and this is obviously now trumped that and done 66,000. So, yeah, it's and I suppose just to mention as we wrap up the oddest thing of the Beatles that you've sold was John Lennon's tooth for 20,000. <laughs> yes, but at the same time, aside from the Beatles, we sold the Elvis Bible that we sold for 50,000. So, yeah, the big, big ticket items are selling, and you know, we typically go into international buyers as well. So, fantastic. That's the well, congratulations. Thank you. It's been great to be here today and witness. I enjoyed it. Thanks a lot. Okay. Cheers. Cheers, Paul. Bye.